Hello? Knock, and... knock. Who... <sighs> of course. Of course, I don't know why. I don't. You gave me the nod <laughs> to start. I don't know why I took that bait. He, he lobbed the softball, and you just. <laughs> I'm the worst fish. <laughs> You're terrible. You're not as bad as this mummified silverfish on the mm, table. That's delicious. It's our new guest host. <laughs> okay, so as you can, well, here or not here, I guess from. The lack of Marcus, that there is no Marcus with us this week. Ooh. He has been captured by Robo Marcus. Okay, and oh, held no. for ransom. Oh dear. So. Good thing we don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, yeah, because like, Robo Marcus wants like 20 bucks. And it's like, I, I don't have yeah. any cash on me. Oh, yeah. right, we'll now. start to go fund me, and hopefully in three weeks we'll meet our goals. Well, I got. Like, for my birthday this year, I don't want any gifts. I just want to contribute to this charity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I've got 20 bucks on me. And I'm not really going to use it for anything, but I just, I you really... might. I'm, I might? I don't have any cash, and if I draw an ATM now, it's bank charges. Yeah, so nah. I don't want to go cool. to pick and pay, because there's always people there. I have to wait in a queue, so... Mm. Yeah. No, so, fine. until the international well, relief in comes peace. in... <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, sorry, like, this, our hands are... There's nothing we can do. <laughs> this is completely out of our control. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, 20 mm. bucks. It's a lot of money. You, you heard Robo Marcus's demands. Yeah. They were I did. untenable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we don't pay the 20 bucks in the next three months, he's going to start posting endgame spoilers. And that's just unacceptable. Yeah. But also, I have a budget. Yeah. No, that's true. I mean, we, we're all adults. Yeah, we got to. We can't. We're, I'm trying to save. Yeah. That's why I bought a two foot tall popcorn box yesterday. <laughs> you were mandated by God to do that. Yeah, that's pretty much your destiny. That, <laughs> yeah. You buying that was, was destiny fulfilled, like. The best but it's supposed to be a shared combo. So in order to buy the big popcorn, I was forced to buy two drinks. I like how he says forced. Like it was Quote, oh, forced, no. unquote. <laughs> that's real dumb though, because that's like that's the size popcorn I want. Mm. Always. <laughs> But I hate, I absolutely hate the cardboard. Yeah. Because you just get fucking salt all over no, you. No, you don't, because if you hold it on top of your lap, you can't see the screen. Jeez. So you've got to hold it in front of you, so it just goes on the floor, no, but so that's it's even, fine. Yeah, but that's cumbersome, and then what if I knock it over? <laughs> you said bursum. I think you got that backwards, do you? Make sure you're laughing at the right part. Oh, um, mass rub? Fuck, you got me. Yeah. Shit. Tap it backwards? <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. No one's answered my knock knock joke. I started Who's it. There? Not Marcus. Damn it. And we've already done the whole segment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to close it off. Who are we, Jason? We're the Cinebeards, and clearly <laughs> without Marcus, <laughs> yeah, we're. We're a little unfocused. I don't know what, what? you're Yeah, about. we're so focused when Marcus is here. Well, no, can... When no, Marcus no, no, is here, no, no, we're no. focused on derailing Marcus. Yeah, I was going to say, when Marcus is here, we are laser focused. Yes. On, de <laughs> on sandbagging his every statement. <laughs> but, but now that we don't have the lightning rods... We're going to have to rods, sandbag someone else. We're sandbagging each other. Ah, you see, I'm immune to it. <laughs> damn, damn it. Only Marcus is polite enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about some trailers and shit. Yeah. Which one first? Uh, Godzilla, obviously. Go, I'm go, so Godzilla! glad that I caved and didn't respect my moral principles and watched the trailer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nick would be proud of you. Him and his bad seeds. Because, yeah, that trailer is sick. It is Man, so good. What's the bite, bite, bite? Bite, 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 and pew! Oh, he's such a chunker. He's like, oh, he's like, like oh, oh, no, holy cow. Oh, holy cow. 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 No, no, not, not as many quite. as 20. Ah, uh, I'm a little let down, but okay, but fair enough. All right. <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm yeah. That movie looks just hype as balls. I mean, it, it's had three really good trailers. Yes. It's it's had one really good trailer, 
one sensational trailer and then one, uh, one possibly the greatest trailer of all the, time. The Claire de Lune one. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm also interested though because I think with... I'm sure you are. I know. I think with each trailer, I've kind of you know trying to figure out what the beats of the story are, and each trailer is kind of shifting. What what, think what I think because like when it originally started, I thought that woman from the Conjuring forms was going to be some sort of doomsday cultist. Yeah. Who let the Titans all loose? Who let the Titans out? Lady from Conjuring. Conjuring. Lady. From Conjuring. Lady. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's not quite classic the prophecy. Hit. It's it's classic hit from the nineties. Classic hit from the Baja men about yeah. ugly women in a nightclub. Yeah, um, that's what the song's about. That's what "Who Let the Dogs Out" is about. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, it's about ugly lady. Because the whole song is like, yeah, the party was jumping, but then "Who Let the Dogs Out" and then everything turns what? to shit. Yes, it's about everybody having a great time in a nightclub and then the <laughs> ugly lady and then ugly show. ladies show up and then someone shouts. Who let the dogs out? That song is so ubiquitous. It's used everywhere. That's what it's about. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I learned something for once from this podcast. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> you won't see it happening again. <laughs> yeah, take this. This is the I one enjoy it, time. Enjoy it while it lasts. This is the, the Mo You Know star. Just <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow. So yeah. Okay. But that was the cool. story beats that I thought that was going to take. But now it seems she's more about... Like, she'll be in the club. I'm I'm really tangled up now. <laughs> <laughs> reverse, Dion, reverse. Reverse out of the analogy. <laughs> Get back onto the highway of the story. It's <laughs> 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 throw me, you, throw me <laughs> a vine. I'm in quicksand. I... I'm in the analogy quicksand. <laughs> I don't know how Jason, Chicago that's the international, racist, that's the like international symbol of somebody clawing themselves out of quicksand. <laughs> I'm, I'm behind on my American sign language. Do people not know me. these? Like this? Everyone knows this one, right? Yeah, okay, okay, one. okay. What's this? What's this? Yeah, exactly. Our listeners at home, you know what that is. So, obviously. I guess the false And, like, and this one. No, no, I was doing the, the outtakes from Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, fuck, yes. Okay. Yeah, I but think everyone at home that's, got that. That's how deep we cut. We reference the outtakes. It's <laughs> a movie speaking podcast. Of, speaking goddammit. of outtakes, I gotta say, the only thing that for me has been like that was super disappointing about uh, something like say Infinity War mm-hmm. was getting the Blu-ray and watching the featurettes. How are they? S- are they stale? They're just fucking puff pieces. All of them. They're really? like, you I know don't, those, you know I those things you said like half an hour more of Thanos that they were talking no, about. No, no, well, they're, no, no, they're fucking, fucking saving for this, puff pieces. I buy them for like really behind, cool features. That's the thing is they, they've stopped calling them like making ofs or behind the scenes. They literally just like, there's one that'll be about, God, it's, it's like, it's all just like in one ear out the other. Cause it's basically those things where they're like. There's like two and a half minute things that put up on YouTube. Oh, some of them are longer, but they're all the same. Where it's like, um, oh, you know, like for Avengers: uh, Infinity War, we like our hero. The stakes are higher than ever, and then it's like five, ten second clip from the movie of someone saying something. And then it's like, then they interview someone else, and he's like, um, for the first time ever, you know, our heroes come up against a villain that they can defeat. And then it's like a, a shot of Thanos, and it's just five minutes of that. Then it goes on to the next thing, feature it, and it's just they're all sort of themed around basic uh... stuff. There, there's some cool stuff like where they talk about like. The battle in on Titan, the battle in Wakanda, but ninety five percent of the content is like it's just interviewing people who like sound like they're reading scripted lines because they about, are. yeah about like it, it just really feels like it. So it's like the producers it, and some of the actors. See, I don't want interviews with producers and actors. I want interviews with props masters, DOPs, yeah, editors, I really, scorers. Like, really that's who I really miss the, I want like, the Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yeah, oh, the Lord of the Rings ones. I want so a 45 minute VFX breakdown from Blade Runner. That's what yeah. I want. Like, the, It's super disappointing. So I don't know if, they get, if they're planning on like a uh, comprehensive box, but I'm so burnt out on them now. Like the commentaries are great um, for all the Russo Brothers ones, but the featurettes are absolute garbage yep yeah it's... the only reason to buy the blu-rays now increasingly is becoming for commentary yeah not for the and their, their commentary does not 
they've done. The commentary is great, but the generally it's... yeah, the feature. I mean, even like the the gag reel, they don't really have gag reels anymore. They have like they'll put on a song and then it'll be like twenty shots of just like the actors like sitting, sitting in sticking the, out their tongue or sitting or in like the green giggling, room and drinking coffee or like... laughing and like a couple of like any shot where like an actor half looks like they might be doing like a f little dance or something. That's all in that fucking gag reel. There's no like. There's no Jackie Chan getting stuck in a table. Yeah, there's no Man, like those love were, lines. Like the Rush Hour movies were pretty shit, but those fucking yeah. end gag reels of the stunts. When he pops around the corner with a gun and he's like, cheese! <laughs> and everybody starts laughing everybody, and he doesn't know no, why. He's got no fucking clue. <laughs> it's one of the purest things I've ever seen. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, just if you ever want your brain to melt with, like, because I'm like, okay, cool. They're going to go into, like, an hour talking about how they fucking use machine learning yeah. and, like, performance capture for Thanos, and it's going to be amazing. And then it's just, like, the, um, what's the producer? I can't remember her name. And she's like, yes, we really wanted to go for photorealism. And then she's like, and this, and this battle is all CG, and we really wanted to go for the photorealism. And this is bigger than anything we've ever done. So, I know all this. I, I was saw, there. I, I, I saw seen it. the movies. Tell me how you did it. Okay, so Thomas, your theory is on Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was just she's not derailing us. That now. she was <laughs> the, I'm not, I'm the doomsday cultist, and yeah. now it seems like she's kind of a savior sort of feature and wants to let out Godzilla. Whereas in the other ones, it looks like she was letting yeah, out. Yeah, because now Titans. there's the yeah. that Godzilla's been. Captured? captured which is weird because you see him like at the end in the vault well, it looks like a volcano setting but he comes out the ocean yeah earlier, so yeah. like and, and, and what nabe can like touches him on his nose yeah very so pure very pure <laughs> moment <laughs> um, um, so it's it's great because <laughs> 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 what a, what a what a purr it's great because i now have no idea how the the yeah. timeline is gonna go so it's, mm, I, like it's it. I mean i i know exactly how it's gonna go but you are a wizard so. yeah I won't spoil it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Godzilla does a suplex. Fuck! God. I really hope he does. I've... If he and, and not just not not just like a German suplex, but like one of those ridiculous WWE no like like straight up suplex things. <laughs> no, like one of those fucking virtual fighter. We just grab it and just suplex. That's it. just. Azuna drop. <laughs> just Azuna drops him from the top rope of the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of ridiculous nonsense like that, the Hobbs and Shaw trailer, I watched Break it. Break it down for I us. Don't yeah, want, I haven't I, seen it. I don't want you guys to watch it. Give us I a taste. I don't know if I should. Well, why don't you... Okay. Why don't you attempt to chorus? I'm gonna actually put my phone on side and find one scene to show you. Okay. Alright, okay, do it. Do one it, do scene. Because it. it is pretty... It's a doozy. It, it's a doozy. For those of you at home, while well, to pass the time while Jason does that, I'm I've been working on my mime act. All right, Dan, um, let's go. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? That was impressive. You weren't and miming, I'm... Dion. You were actually stuck inside a box. There. I'm actually a little oh, bit you disturbed. Have to practice some... You have to practice with a practical prop first. I'm a, I'm a little <laughs> disturbed at your commitment to that role. Yeah, um, yeah. To be I, honest, I'm I might call your friends oh, and family. Dude, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. The, I haven't done it in a few days, so I don't know if it's going to be perfect. I Check out my ventriloquism. Hi, I'm Dion. I, I, this is my lips aren't even moving <laughs> at all. <laughs> Pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. There's a slight What's more change. impressive is that was Thomas speaking. I know, it was crazy. It came out I of his body. I feel a little bit violated, I'm not gonna lie. Came, came but, out you know, of Thomas's body. But, you know, because it was body. for the art. Yeah. That's fine. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this coffee. I'm gonna drink this coffee and talk at the same time so you can know it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, eh? <laughs> Why do I have the taste of coffee in my mouth, Dion? It's amazing, dude. I'm not okay with it's this. amazing. You know how I feel about coffee. <laughs> You're like Liz Lemon when she gets um, okay, when she gets two botched LASIK and she starts crying out her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I cry now. What? <laughs> that man is dead now. <laughs> that man is very dead. Okay, so for context, what happens is they're driving really fast in a supercar. <laughs> And the rock decides he's gonna punch his arm out the window and grab a baddie. And then throw him into a wall speed. as they drive him. And then throw him into a wall as they're driving maybe 120k. And that is one of the least silliest things in that trailer. 
Can't wait. <sighs> That's why I would. I, I know what you guys okay, can watch it. I I'm just not... want to be in the cinema when you see the stupid shit. Um, okay, I, I I swear I'm not gonna watch it, and it's not gonna yeah. be like Godzilla when I swore not to watch that. Yeah, but we pre pressured you into watching it. You did because the thing and... is, in uh, terms of a Fast and Furious like Hobbs and Shaw right? movie. Those are legitimate spoilers, because that's what you're going there to see. Yes. <laughs> you don't care about the story. There is no... The story is the loose gossamer thread that binds it all <laughs> tenuously together. The story is literally just like a sheet where they number the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the plot, the plot is like... It's just like a numbered sheet. The storyboard is just five... Five pieces of paper. <laughs> all of them with, with the rock flexing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole story. We got it. We <laughs> nailed it, guys. Got I think it we one. did it. This was the, this was fifteen minutes, we'll guys. Do, we'll do one for safety. <laughs> <laughs> one, one for safety. One for VFX plates, and then we go. <laughs> we did. We done. I'm, I'm hungry. I skipped breakfast. Do you think the Rock actually killed that guy when he threw? I him think that man may be dead for sure. I don't think that was like that was special, special effects. effects or no. or great trailer Looks from the eight seconds I saw. Great from that moment where that man died. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the murder. <laughs> I'm glad that they it's could outsource stuff like that to South Africa. <laughs> like, yeah, guys, we, we don't really have much of a special effects budget. How cheaply can you kill a human being for us? <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do, like, we'll do you All six before lunch. If he, if he dies before lunch, then it doesn't count as a full day. We don't have to pay him. Yeah, that's a half day. <laughs> we can, we can maybe... He's grieving bad against nothing. <laughs> it's a half day. We can maybe get away paying him hourly. Like... Don't give away your amazing business idea on the radio. No, I won't. On the radio. <laughs> <laughs> on this AM this radio. This is the Cinebeards carrying you through the night. <laughs> and now, the sultry sounds, sounds of, Kenny of G. Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> the sultry sounds of Flax! That's actually, that's why, that I, the, that's why he has to redo all his dialogue in ADR, because if he's, like, sound of if he's talking while flexing, his muscles just scream, just, flex. I thought it would just create a sonic boom. Well, no, like they, they creak like, like, well-cured leather. Uh, ah, yeah. but that's sexy leather. Yeah, 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 yeah. The second I knew Fast and Furious was going in the right direction was when he flexed when off he his When he flexed cast. the fucking cast <laughs> off, oh my god. Uh, it's weird yeah. how those two franchise, Mission Impossible and... Fast and the Furious have gotten better as they've kind of lent mm. into their shenanigans harder and harder. Away from focusing on a single person and um, away from seriousness, and yeah. they've both just gotten better. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit like Thor, except Thor got good much quicker. So MCU still wins. Well, he's been character assassinated. Holding thumbs, one. maybe one day James Bond will no longer focus on one person. Ah, I've got news about James Bond. Oh yeah, yeah. So new James Bond. Nude James Bond. No, no, nude. Wait, I'm not talking about your have, fan have the, have fiction. Have the tables been turned? <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's no, it's been, Daniel Craig again. again. It's Daniel yeah. Craig again. Again, obviously. The weird name. I know, but yeah, it's Daniel fine. Craig again. The again. Bond girl, as they dub her, is um, Joy from Blade Runner. Okay. Which one? Uh, she's. Uh, so I'm not good with names. The AI. The AI. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, and the that Vel makes that, that makes me feel a little dirty though, because she's cool. Like. Yeah, she's, she's super cool. cool. Yeah. But it's now she's in this, I guess. Like any, any, like at this point, it's just like being a Bond girl just feels kind of like it just feels kind of sleazy. It, yeah. it's, 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 it's exceptionally just, sleazy. Just, yeah, like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like an honor so much as a like, okay, cool, uh, you're our latest you sacrifice. You are sex object. Yeah. Have sex and then die. Not particularly always in that order. Um Ayo. And the villain yeah. is Remy Malek. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's I'm a, I'm cool I'm cool with that. Just like when I found out that the the villain for the previous one was Waltz and the villain for the one before that was um, Anton Chigurh. I haven't watched the like a new Bond film in so long. The yeah, I, it's like who didn't see Daniel Craig coming? Like, come on, the guy's just he's doing what Robert Downey Jr. did after I think it was Age of Ultron, which before Age of Ultron. It was, was like cool. Then. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done with these movies. Yeah, no, I'm I'm done Super with these. Done. Well, yeah. Daniel Craig is on record as saying he's done with the movies unless they pay him a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, so well, I, I mean, guess they paid him a ridiculous amount. Robert Downey Jr. did like he, the I can't remember what the actual percentage was, but like the something the, scary. Yeah, he gets a huge percentage of these films. Like he gets exponentially more than the other cast members, and I know like Hemsworth uh, and Evans each got fifteen million for uh, Endgame. And like, and he's getting like a front and a huge percentage off the back end, like oh, yeah. crazy. 
<laughs> so, Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw. I'm excited for it. Can't wait. You said I, you... I am more excited to go to the movie and watch your reactions. <laughs> you put forward that it's going to be the next Geostorm. It's, it's got a distinct air of Geostorm to it because the story, I mean... the story points that they hit on in that trailer are all stupid. But it's going to be really good. Production-wise. Yeah, pr production-wise, it's going to be good. It's no Velocipasto. <sighs> no, but, but then I mean, again, what could what possibly is... be? Speaking of Velocipaster, yes. have you guys seen the trailer for Velocipaster that I watched with you earlier? You're unrelated things, Dion. The, the one that I watched, I, my mind's crazy, dude. <laughs> so I'd focus. I just draw these links that no one no one else possibly could. Just the, 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 why are you so good at segue? The web weaver. <laughs> yeah, just dude, the web fucking weaver. drive over a cliff with one of those. <laughs> You get one of those ones with the big <laughs> off-road tires. Spit coffee in my studio. Yeah? Just off-road tires. Yeah. Anyways. If I do, it's on you and you know it. Not like literally on yeah, you. Yeah, you can't probably spit it on me because I'm closer. Yeah. But yes, uh, yeah. Pastor. That's a uh, That looks good. That Wild looks good. Eye. Wild Eye Productions, which have given us some monumentally atrocious films. I have never seen one and I look forward to going I'm and watching gonna, all of them. I'm going to give you an example and Jason's going to nod knowingly at some well, of Well, I'll probably make an audible noise so that the microphone can pick it up. Yeah. Unless I nod really fast, really close to it, so the viewer's gonna hear... Well, whoosh, we'll whoosh, see. Whoosh. <laughs> That's Dion and I nodding, not just making mouth noises. <laughs> 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 we're clever boys. Clever boys. No, we're not. Oh, that was sarcasm. <laughs> they can't see. All I did was prove you right. They can't see how dumb we are, Jason. Come on. I'm not gonna lie, Thomas. This is not. I'm not impressed yet. Well, no, I'm not impressed at the speed of your Google. I'm not well, impressed at anything I do. So I Google things slowly while we are recording. Thomas, you don't need to, you don't need to narrate time. what you're doing. Thomas, we don't. We we only have so much tape. <laughs> it's and I've got to I've got to cut it really carefully. <laughs> yes. Hey, it's not my fault that their website loads really slow. You could just Wikipedia it. Yeah. I'm trying. Or Imdaba. You trash bag. Uh, so what are the trailers Jurassic Shark. We have? Shark okay. Exorcist. Jurassic Shark. Jurassic Shark. Shark Exorcist. New favorite Predator movie. World. Cool. 1.9. Uh, this is Shark, Shark Exorcist. Did we watch Shark Exorcist? We did. Sounds quite familiar. Doom Room. Alright, alright. Paranormal sex tape? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Hey man, it's all over the place. <laughs> Jurassic Prey. Jurassic Prey, okay. Jurassic that was one Prey? Of, that was one of my favorites. It's it's a winner. Uh, it's a, I, I can't even remember. Okay, okay, don't tell me, I'm gonna go watch all Sharkenstein. of Sharkenstein. <laughs> we haven't watched that one. <laughs> no, but that trailer makes me want to. To purchase it legitimately. Yes. yes. <laughs> because there's definitely a way to purchase these films legitimately. <laughs> well, actually, do you know what's really fucking weird? Is you can buy them all on Amazon. In one huge box set that comes, like... <laughs> Digitally. That comes in a, yeah, like, it comes a, in a... A zip like, file. Really it, big zip file. Really big zip file. This just called... <laughs> <laughs> the Jurassic Dead. Oh, yeah, it's called, like, Are You Sure? <laughs> and Jason... <laughs> it's, it's what, just, what's that? It's just, Sorry, what was that one? A Jurassic Dead and a classic... Your favorite and mine, Raiders, Raiders of the Lost, Lost Shark. Shark. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. Why didn't you tell me about these? <laughs> because they're in that zip file that's named... Yeah. <laughs> it's just that expression just that's that's like rendered in text. I mean, if you want these, Dion, I do have most of them. But Thomas... Tsunabi. But Thomas, Is I want to purchase them legitimately. Yes, Jason. Wait, wait. <laughs> A tsunami of bees! A tsunami. After an atmospheric catastrophe sends Los Angeles into chaos, three groups of survivors who escape the city must put aside their differences, who face a series of apocalyptic events. As they l learn to work together, they are faced with even greater nightmare. A giant gravity swells that contain thousands of killer bees. Yep. Intent on yep. ushering in the end of the world. You've already yeah, I like it, sold I like, me. I like that the bees are intent on ushering yeah, in the, the end bees. of Like, the bees specifically are like, fuck this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, Velocipasta, Dion, what is it? It is a film. <laughs> Slow down. All right, all right, okay. Um, you know, I, I don't really have a word that's closer than that, like, but that's a fair approximation. It's a film 
uh, about a pastor who turns into a velociraptor and he needs to learn to use these powers for good. <laughs> and to fight ninjas. To fight ninjas. <laughs> I like that when he turns into a Velociraptor, he just looks like a T Rex. Yeah, it's just they had like a they had that T Rex song. I bet it's the same fucking one from Jurassic Prague. It probably is. I bet you it's the same one. Oh my god. Yep, it looks great. D and I have over a hundred B movies if you want them. Really? I thought they could only get Seinfeld for the one. No, dude, there's an extended cinematic universe. Have you heard universe. about Seinfeld Vision? <laughs> oh, <it's> Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Jurassic Prey. When they have the dinosaur on screen, it's a hand puppet that's yeah. held closer to the camera. Yeah, I saw in that in that shot. I knew what was I knew what was going down. You know what was happening. I'm so keen, <laughs> keen like a bean. Uh, what other trailers were there? Swamp Thing. What uh, the hell's going on there? Swamp know. Thing, well-known mass murderer. I mean, he did start out as kind of a villain. Yeah, but. <sighs> Villain. It's just a sh villain. It's a shitty place to to jump off with somebody as cool as Swamp Thing. Yeah, Swamp in, in a swamp of all places. Yeah. I agree. L what a loser. Because Swamp Thing can be cool. Like, you know, the green and that whole mystical side of Earth's life It was also the and... first appearance of Constantine. I didn't know that. Yep. He that first appeared cool. in a swamp. In Alan Moore's Swamp Thing. So you're saying Swamp well, Thing Moore is, is a... Swamp Thing. Mm. So you're so... saying... Swamp Thing's an eco-terrorist. Yes. Yeah, um, pretty much. Okay, he's cool. Then why of, don't they just make it like a really He's a member hippie. of ALF. Yeah, why don't they just make it like a really hippie thing? Like, he joins Greenpeace, and then they're not radical enough for him. And then he so, goes rogue. And then he goes rogue operative. Yeah. Is this your pitch, Dion? Maybe. How's it going? <laughs> great volume, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, we are. <laughs> The idea that Graham is just a spirit that possesses nearby people when they've got good ideas about <laughs> films. <laughs> now that's the movie. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, he's somehow greenlit Gemini Man. Mm, yeah, that was a rare miss for him. Will Smith versus Young Jeff Bridges. Yeah, well, real it's, weird. It's the, it's the tr the truest battle of. How did they make a Young Jeff Bridges out of Will Smith? And twenty five years ago, before the technology existed. That's... <laughs> it's crazy how they should do that. that way. Maybe they've also got time travel shenanigans. Maybe they're also just filming bad boys again. Maybe. They are, they are. Yeah, they are. Maybe they're filming it twice at the same time. <laughs> That's some Saving our hedging costs. their bets. That's some fresh hell. But do you want to be forever young? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That I is so painful. I'm trying to think of the last movie that specifically used that auto tune voice thing, and I think it was one of the Transformers. Probably. Quite possibly. The last one I saw was probably a Transformers one. I like, because I know I've heard that voice yeah. Oh my god, I think it's like that, that trend is over though. Like that's Yeah, done. they're now they're now on the like the sad version of old songs. Yeah. The boat Not has sad been versions, classic like classic yeah. yeah. It looks like shit. It looks garbage. Like, it looks homemade. Like you said, it looks like a student film. Yeah, it, yeah. well it looks like an indie film. But potato tomato. <sighs> How did Maybe it's because they blew all their budget on getting Will Smith. That Probably. is absolutely almost what certainly. And they were like, "Fuck, we can't afford a villain." It's just we've already got Will Smith. It's just double up. Yeah, but you know, Will Smith isn't the villain. Clive Owen's the villain, and the two Will Smiths are gonna team up. Team to up. Fight him. Yeah, yeah, for sure, back to back. Yeah, man, I watched one, Clive... one on the other one's shoulder. <laughs> it's just gonna be a really tall Will Smith. <laughs> It's the I'm sorry, normal, man. I'm sorry, sir. You can't be older than 25 to come in. It's like, I think you're fine. I'm 25 and under. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and incredibly tall. And incredibly tall. <laughs> it's just like, and then they go to another place, but we're like, you have to be older than 25 to get in. <laughs> it's just like, swap places. Fucking quick switch Fuck it, dude. It's gonna be a me. It's endless. I don't know why we were doubting it. <laughs> Good day, sir. Do you have any guns for tall people? <laughs> <laughs> that are of gun buying age. <laughs> when, when was the you last? Could be gun yeah, you'd be a 12 year old. Yeah. Um, when was the last time you saw Clive Owen in anything? Um, I saw him in this really weird movie about remember, dystopian Britain. I can't even remember offhand where he, he has like. sex with Amanda Seyfried. Children of Men? That was the last good thing I saw. Oh, him. okay, I know who he is. The I think Once the last... Gonna... Let's see what the fuck's going on there. Me. Carry on. I think the last good thing I saw him in, because I saw it after that, was Shoot 'em Up. Yeah. Wait, did I see Shoot 'em Up or, or Sin City? 
Because I, th- I think was I think I think Children recently. of Men is like two thousand eight. Yeah, yeah. So I think since he was after that, so, yeah. I don't know. It's just I don't know what Clive Owen's doing nowadays. Sims Making City. weird movies about dystopian Britain where he has sex with Amanda Seyfried and does cocaine. Isn't that just what he does? Like, that's not a movie. That's just home videos. Well, I watched that home footage. video then. Yeah. Leaked. Sick. Yeah. Shoot 'em Up was the year after Children of Men. Hmm. Uh-huh. Well, well in that movie, he you kills the shoot. man with a carrot. Why does the man have a carrot? He a carrot has a man. carrot. What? <laughs> oh, and he uses the carrot to kill the man. What yeah. a fucking twist. <laughs> and you imagine you don't see that coming. <laughs> And another party sticks his hand in a fire with a fist full of bullets, and the bullets go off and p- kill Paul Giamatti. Who was just visiting the set? <laughs> <laughs> it was a real life tragedy. It was everywhere. R.I.P. Paul. It's fucking the crow all over it's again. It's you, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, I think the last trailer we have to talk about is MIB International. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm, I'm keen, keen for it. Like, it just looks like good old-fashioned 90s fun. I yeah. just want more comedic Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, like, such a good team. And mm-hmm. fucking Liam Neeson's in there. I'm cool. I'm down. We've got some good people. Yeah. And, they, and, they, and, they, and, and it, it sounds like Kumail Nanjiani, or however you pronounce his name. I'm probably butchering it. You're doing the well. tiny little guy. You're such a Marcus right now. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's going to be in, in two funny movies because it's that and in uh, um, Stuber. In Stuber, Stuber as well. yeah. So I'm fucking keen for that. <laughs> I wish you had told me before I pledged my loyalty to I'm, you. I'm sorry, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> if you said, no, no, please stop, I would have stopped. <laughs> it looks like fun. And mm-hmm. I did get to see uh, an awesome trailer where they uploaded it with no music, which was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, was it as bad as The Mummy? No. Nothing. Yeah! Nothing is as bad as just Tom Cruise. You know, uh, why, you know why that happens, by the way? Tell me. Oh, so can I let facts into the room? Just well, for a moment? What's our count on you, facts? You got to learn a thing today. We okay, cool, cool, cool. Because what usually happens is when they mix the trailers, they're mixing the trailers as multi-channel files. So like five or seven channels. Uh, and usually you'll find that like dialogue and major sound effects are on channels one and two. Okay. And then like music and other stuff gets mixed to other channels and then what happens is they forget on their end to do like a stereo di- to sort of dynamics everything to stereo before uploading to youtube because youtube when apparently when it processes video files it only okay. looks at channels one and two it doesn't look at multi-channel really? audio yeah so what a great system uh, yeah so that's what happens so what they obviously do is they're like double click on the video file cool this looks good and sounds good drag it onto youtube publish <laughs> Huh. Yeah. You'd think somebody would check. You'd fucking think like this I about my house. little microscope in my little microscopic universe before I post to do anything. I've like I've checked that thing He's like ten times. It. I've had other people check it for me. Like this is multi million dollar advertising campaigns. And, and they're like, just like <laughs> automate, go. <laughs> go publish, click now, thank you. Yeah. Unlike fucking um you saw like that photo of like the team that handled like launching the Captain Marvel. Like that that's how you fucking do it, dude. You There's a large around. amount of people. And I mean those are those people are all probably interns. Like they're getting paid like twenty five cents a day. Oh yeah. yeah. At most. At yeah. most. They're mostly being paid in experience. Yeah, I was gonna say they're getting paid and in exposure. coffee and exposure. And exposure. Yeah. And not the good exposure. Still don't know. It's a scary exposure. Oh, one more thing about um Hobbs and Shaw. Mm-hmm. It wasn't in the trailer, so I didn't see any of it. But apparently, Keanu Reeves plays a pretty important role in it. Oh, really? Really? So what I heard. Cannot confirm. Can neither confirm nor deny. I'll be but, I mean, if he is... I mean, that's a great addition a recur- to the universe. Yeah, if he gets a recurring oh, role in the later oh, movies. What if, what if it's actually what John Wick? <laughs> what if it's actually John Wick? <laughs> Jesus, that would be the best thing ever. I would it's literally both, die. No, they're both Paramount, aren't they? Yeah. I would die forever. It's both Paramount. Think, no, isn't it? Isn't you John Wick Universal? Oh, fuck. Damn it. I don't know. Is it Paramount? I don't know. All right. I don't know who owns it. You're going to have to listen to some you, kind of that it is kind of podcast. With for, I will tell you that it is of universal importance that we find. Oh, fuck. The other one would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. But I like where your head's at. Yeah. I'll watch that one. It's okay. Oh, no. Get him next time. Dude. I'll get him next time. You well, won't get him next time. Something that's all the trailers, right? 
yeah, that's all the trailers. I mean, there was also Anna, but I don't think we watched that trailer. Anna? Um, oh, is that the, um, Pew the, Pew. the prequel Assassin. to Annabelle? No, it's just the first half of it. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Uh, which is, which is all I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Good. It's just some kind of Russian assassin lady movie, it looks like. So, like, what was that one? Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow? Mm. So I didn't like even that. watch that. I didn't watch it either. It got such trash well, reviews. It, well, it's just like I saw Jennifer Lawrence. I was like, ah, I don't have to pay I, attention. I watched it. Skip. I watched it. It was pretty trash. Pretty trash. Good pretty trash tra- or no. don't waste my time trash. So I'll just watch. Don't, don't waste your time trash. Mm. Yeah. Don't waste your time trash. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I think that's all, all the trailers. Ooh, I, I have Child? I have a thing about Detective Pikachu. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. it looks so good. It does look fantastic. Same DOP as Gladiator. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Do you know what and I discovered? they shot it on film. Like, oh. they actually, he made a point of, like, no, we have to... Yeah, and they wow, use real Pokemon, which is great. I, I don't know where um, they got... Japan's a mystical place. You know that, that, that iconic shot in Gladiator, you know, where, like, there's, like, the field and, like, cross yeah. Crow's hand? That's not his hand! What? Is that a hand double? It's a hand double. I feel Hans, lied to. Hans, Hans Zimmer said so on the forum. <gasps> and like, I'm going to tell me it's Hans Zimmer's hand. Hans Zimmer's hand. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get he so said, excited. He said, on, he said on the forum and like everyone's like, he writes he writes this whole post about like his like his whole composing process yeah. and how he starts with the suite and all this and stuff. And like in brackets, he's like, you know, like, and that wasn't even Russell Crowe's actual hand. And then he carries on. And that's the only <laughs> responses. Like just people are like, my whole life is a lie. <laughs> you lied to me, Ridley. <laughs> Uh, good time. <laughs> <laughs> People are so predictable. Hand doubles, uh, man. Hand doubles. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. Yeah, but yeah, that whatever they're doing with that Pokemon movie, it just looks like they're doing it with so much like just integrity. Yeah, it's crazy. And it they're gonna make good. so much. I can't wait for them to make money. so much fucking money in us to get more Pokemon fucking movies. Mm. Like, well, not- I mean, apparently people who've like seeing the test viewing and stuff like that say it's a great start to the pokemon franchise so yeah well i mean i imagine so <laughs> yeah there's I no way to say it like but it's garbage yeah, yeah there's no way that they'd introduce the pokemon to the cinematic world and just leave it at one movie no not a chance it's gonna make absolute bang like again i've never played a pokemon game i watched a couple of episodes my brother was more into it so like you I, have, I have level. no attachment to this franchise, really, and I'm so hyped for this fucking movie. It looks so good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Give it to be me. Good. Give it to me. No, 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 me. Give it to us. No, me. Give it to all of us. Yeah. Oh, we we um, stumbled upon the realization last night that um, your brother is a good ginger boy that starts with Ru, mm. or Ru. and Red when he left book. you got a good ginger boy that starts with Ru. Rupert to fill the void <gasps> left by your ginger brother yo fucking twists and turns is your life into the cinnabeard's law <laughs> is your life an m night Shyamalan film it looks that way it looks that way <laughs> rupert plotted it all <laughs> this is all a con i wouldn't put it past him i wouldn't he's a clever boy Sneaky fuck <laughs> such a good boy he just, he just he saw the chicken one day and was like i need to get in there <laughs> I need, this needs to be my life <laughs> oh man what an asshole <laughs> He's just really good at computers and, and, <laughs> yeah. and shit like that. Your brother's gone, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> he got disappeared by a CIA hit squad. <laughs> so it's so all just a young Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Rupert with a voice modulator and a, and like, and a mask. <laughs> He's MI being that shit. They're just using Thanos technology. Uh, not MI being fucking Mission Impossible link. <laughs> They're using Thanos yeah. machine learning to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Think about it, both that's why Ryan cut his hair ties. so short. <gasps> quote cut his hair so because it's really hard it's to like hard handle. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Figure hair works. Out. We just tank the frame rate. We're unraveling this this web. Rupert. This web that I'm sure everyone is super interested in. <laughs> <laughs> it's the deep law. It's the deep law. The, the I am the law. It's as important as Graham Hollywood. <laughs> it's true. 
true. <laughs> These loved, beloved characters that we exactly. have. Exactly. Graham Hollywood, young Jeff Bridges. Robo Marcus. <laughs> Robo Marcus. And the Roo Roo Conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> The deep, the, the latest addition, the, the brother, the brother cat heist, <laughs> and the Snyder Minute. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking about Snyder Minute. Oh no! Oh, I, no. Some, I, I watched some. Re well, welcome to the Snyder Minute. The <laughs> Snyder, Snyder Minute. Minute. I watched some really cringy videos. Oh yeah. Because there's a new trend online oh, of no. people on Twitter tagging Warner Brothers and DC Comics and all of them okay. and putting up videos of themselves asking them to release the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut. It is painful. Please. I can't wait, I to, just, go, I can't I just, wait to go home and get on Twitter. I, I just wait. want them to upload the fucking... Just like, just put it out there. Just release the Snyder Cut. Charge triple what you would charge for a normal film just get these idiots money exactly. and let like, them like, just give them what they want like because it's going to be some people i know when they don't want to work with <laughs> particular uh, clients they'll yeah. charge them like three times the amount oh and, that sounds brilliant and either the client will be like no that's too much and then they don't need to work with them or they work with them and then and they get worth more money <laughs> that sounds amazing <sighs> yeah um <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you've, you've, there was one guy who, you know the I Heart New York thing that I, yeah, uh, yeah. I Heart NY? Oh no. He had an I Heart ZS. I like it's not like he's like subtly warning. This is just thing. cinematic, this is cinematic Stockholm Syndrome. It's a, it's a one minute video that he put up. One minute? And what he, would like, you say he for a minute? he references it twice. I li well, you see, what's great about that shirt is that these people are identifying themselves. Yeah. So, so from far away, you can see, ah, that man should probably be shot. Oh, <sighs> speaking of awful, I saw a, a really good um, vanity plate, mm -hmm. which was 14ALL41. Uh, That's not, not great. That is good. What was it? 14ALL41. So the fours are A's, right? So Yala, Yala, Yala. I'm not as multicultural yeah. as you, Dion. I don't yeah. understand. I don't know what that. What we kind of saw. Color? Maybe it's like that one with the sugar cube, where it's where it's the thingy cube, and then his vanity plate was the chemical formula <laughs> for sugar. sugar. Um, so maybe it like it's like one of those. One what saw? kind of car was it, Dion? I have no idea. Red one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the one that we I saw. I think I'm no color expert. <laughs> I'm not a color mechanic. The one we saw on the way here? Yeah. Was it like bonehead or knob? Oh, the knob. Yeah, sorry, the knob. That's bad. I thought my one was pretty good. It is. We're That's just good. we're sandbagging it is, it is you. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm it took sorry. Give me a moment as well. I was like, on for all fun. What's the next? Oh wow! <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was means loud. I feel awful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I knew it was loud. It's just a, the link sound. <laughs> it's just an Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. There was a link sound slowed down. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so we're probably not going to have to at some point mention just how goddamn well Endgame is doing at the box office. Pretty Endgame good. is making lots of money at the box office. Several millions. I think, Dozens I of millions. I think Robo... Because we're recording this on Sunday, so we I are. think... Robo Marcus, who, despite his outdated political views, mm -hmm. yeah, he really lives two regressive. days in the future. It's quite weird. I think it's a cyberspace thing. So he's yeah. he knows and will now tell us the exact amount that it made for its opening weekend. One point two billion dollars. Wow, Robo Marcus, Jeez. that's crazy. That's insane. But maybe it's, less racism next time. It <laughs> made a billion. Almost made a billion. <laughs> Made more than a billion. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for those sound VFX gonna, plates. That's all in there. I don't even know you're on that. That's too much effort. Thank Just you. underline the correct one. Thank you for those. Thank you for those plates. <laughs> I'll put it in bold. <laughs> uh, good just, time. just turn up the mix on the one that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really loud bang. Ah. Uh.
Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's fucking just absolutely It's too bad that the brand was so damaged. Yeah, so the damaged by Captain Marvel. Failure of Captain yeah, Marvel. Yeah, just, just absolute, that huge drop and not going to make a, I mean, it only made more than a billion dollars. and It only made more than any Batman movie ever made. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a commercial flop. What are you going to do? Yeah. I mean, it made more domestically than, like, uh, Civil War in the US, like, it's just it's dead. They're it's just dead. gonna they're have to the MCU water, rest, rip in peace the MCU. They're just gonna have to build it back up again. Yeah, they're just gonna have to bring in a bunch of men. They better all be white. In other news, Shang Chi is uh, confirmed. Mm, it is nice. That was just a nice like palate It was more like a more like a humorous thing than a conversation starter. I know, but I thought I'd take the wind out of the sails. Yeah, but that's... Why would you ever do that to another person? <laughs> Suck out the wind and <laughs> sandbag. That's your move. That's my move. I don't understand what it's being done to me. <laughs> uh, you know, I've, I've heard three separate stories of people getting beaten up for shouting endgame spoilers yeah. at crowds of people. I wore... For, for, yeah, I literally wore earplugs you did the right thing the, the, and you did the it to the pre-screening screen. yeah can you imagine taking your life well, in your hands in fairness the um there had been a, like a, a previous screening the day before our previous yeah screening, for the, like a for private the press, one uh, there was uh a press screening yeah press and well there was a private invite one on friday at the two o'clock show fuckers yeah but on on the, th on the wednesday there was a a screening some company that like booked out the the IMAX, which makes me think we need to make lots of money so we can just do that for the fun of it. Yeah. Book out, like, book out the IMAX for a screening of a film. Of hereditary. Ourselves with no one else. Well, no, because then what we should do is book it out for the day, then watch what we want to watch mm. in there, and then play PlayStation on the IMAX screen for the yes. rest of the day. Yes. That's a good idea. Good spookies. <gasps> when dying light comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's an IMAX experience. Yeah, yeah, that is. Imagine those dips in frame rates or oh, something. That's like, so oh, good. Boy. Imagine that input lag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, but yeah, so I was I was worried because I knew there would probably be someone that had seen it already, yeah. and and I mean like there were cam rips out like the beginning of the week already and stuff. So like I said, they're on all of the promotional Facebook stuff and on the Twitter. There's just people that have fucking taken photos of critical moments of the film and I just posted there and no one's taking sitting, them down. If someone was near me and took a photo in the film I would I would I would wait I'll, because I want to see the end of the film. No no no. But then I would probably hate crime them. Oh yeah I would I would hate crime them hard. I, I would make them eat their phone. Yeah. And I mean there was a big group of us of, of big big boys. We're intimidating as a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean people don't know the difference. No, no, <laughs> we're just a they face know, to just look. <laughs> and I mean, Jared was there, so you know. Yeah, we, we, we actually we had some. We could walk have a that sword. Talk. We could. Huh? Actually, he didn't have a sword. Anything though. can be a sword, Jason. Anything's a sword if you put your mind to it. Even a hammer, or an axe, <laughs> or a sword. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, In he a could, pinch. Have, he could well, literally to just. Be fair, think, he's probably strong enough that he could have used Martina I as was, a sword, and then with every to... strike, she just punch, punch, punch. It's a good combo. She would have reorganized their faces. Nice. With tabs, the good kind. I like those tabs. Mm. I'm just busy reading here. Apparently, that the, is funny. the entire third act of Dark Phoenix was reshot. That bodes well. <laughs> no, I, I mean, remember how well that did for Predator? Predator. Yeah. And that definitely didn't feel that didn't massively suck the out, of out of place. Sales. Yeah. And that was only like the end of the yeah. third act. This is the whole third act. That's so that insane. could, I, well, it could either it could be either better. Be, yeah, it could either be like, okay, they've totally salvaged it, or, or it they've be... completely yeah. fucked it up. It, oh, they're like, they're like, it, oh, okay, it's cool. Awful. Disney's Disney's taking over. Disney's taking over this. So like, we're just gonna shit the bed. <laughs> and then, like they bring, this is they, your bring issue they bring now. Mystique back to life. She kills <laughs> off every good member of the cast. <laughs> And it's just her and and the girl that plays Phoenix. And just a really <laughs> a shitty CGI version of Wolverine yeah. catches up. And they're like, they just look at the screen and they go, we're canon now, forever. Us, this incarnation, <laughs> And then definitive. they just all just explode. No, that's it. So, 
and this might be a mild spoiler here for people who care about Dark Phoenix. Mm. Yeah, so, go, so um, just turn this off and go kill yourself. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas was saying, he saw a post of someone was like, can this movie come out already? I don't care if it's good or it's bad, I just want it to be done. <laughs> I just don't want to see trailers it's, for it anymore. It's been like two years. But app- apparently the heavy reshoots were to change the final act from a big old space battle. Which is what... I mean, I could see that happening and having relevance in the story. Sure. To the military train that we keep seeing in the fucking trailers. That's the fight. That's the climax. Holy God. That sounds like a bad trade-off. Yeah. yeah, I take a space battle over a train, and I which, like trains a Which lot. means the big, cool climax moment is gonna be Magneto using guns. <sighs> they also apparently did some shooting so that it's not because Fox is getting bought out. Well, was bought out. Good, good. Or at that stage, was getting bought out. They changed it so that rather than leaving it open for continuation, it is end of the story. So that's also not really gonna gonna hurt at all, you know? Only changing the third act of a movie to make it so that it ends a whole... I hope know, that... 15 movie series? Actually, I I, I've I got no hopes. I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't think of this myself. as... I don't think of this as part of... I just think of, of like, this first class, Days of Future Past, uh, hey. and then Apocalypse, something else. and now this one. No, I'm just saying, oh, like, for okay. me, that's, like, little... Quadrilogy. Yeah, uh, you, you don't. That's your self contained. X Man X two and. No, I don't really. First class felt like I don't a, really either, felt like a reboot. Because mm. like, also like tonally, I know they bring back obviously character, but it it feels like a proper and and reboot. tonally they don't mesh at all yeah. together. Yeah, they're all like and also different yeah, first class is good. Yes. Yeah, first class was good. I like X two. I liked X2. Yeah, I was about to say, I I liked it it until I rewatched it. I haven't watched it in years. Keep it in your memory. It's just just good in my memory. Keep it good and pure. Because I remember really liking it. Nope, just don't rewatch it. Just rewatch First Class if you have to go back. I definitely will. Yeah. No, I mean, you you got a couple of good ones to choose from. You got First Class. You got The Wolverine, which was good but not great. Mm -hmm. I like the R R rated cut Blu ray. Mm. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Big Bloods. No, no, I mean, she's still not, like, making it a great film. Like, <laughs> I, re- I remember the whole thing we had with, <laughs> with the, Gravity. With Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> my, my with the bunny cop bunny. thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I wonder if I can actually find it. Did I... Did I do it to your Facebook? Christ, dude. No, right? Just, like, <laughs> do, do that afterwards. There's no way. Um, so... Yeah, the Wolverine was good. But that thing is... I. St- of the x-men films it was like x2 at the time was good the wolverine was good uh obviously logan i don't even count logan as part of them but it's like it's it's not fair yeah because it just blows it out of the water yeah yeah and the deadpools is i don't don't count i remember i think my favorite thing about x2 was the the theme i remember really fucking liking that theme (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, that's the one thing, like, Martina pointed out. <laughs> I went up to our Facebooks to try and find it, and I found, between us, Airbud 5, Airbud Spikes Back trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great title. Oh, that's good. Was, um, like, in first class, they had that really cool theme for Magneto. What happened to that? Remember all that cool stuff that was in first class? Yeah. What, what happened, happened to that? that? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, we were so innocent. We were. Posts of us looking forward to Batman v Superman. Oh no, Jason, no! Kind of, you have to go back and delete those. Kind of those go yeah. public. That's, yeah. Those are some problematic messages that yeah. will uh, come back to haunt you. Mike Cernovich. <laughs> He's like, okay, cool. I didn't work. I didn't win against James Gunn. I'm gonna take <laughs> like these. I'm gonna take these, these podcasters out. Up. They've been nipping at my heels for years. <laughs> poor us. Poor, poor us. <laughs> what is the context to this? <laughs> <laughs> Was the tornado an angel? <laughs> <laughs> was the tornado an angel? What do I say you that? said you saved my life. She was trying to set me on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what wow. does that even mean? When was that? That is ooh, uh, February seventeenth, twenty fourteen. Jesus Christ! What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> 
I did manage to find it. Oh! Eventually. July 30th, 2013. Yeah? Have I known you that long? I'm, wow, I'm that's the same a lot of fucking, fucking years. That's like more than two years. <laughs> yeah, it's months. Yeah. Jason. Logan was a wise, quick-hacking, maverick ex-soldier with sleeping troubles and an affinity for breaking the rules. But when he's partnered up with the by-the-books law of physics, you'll find out that life is full of ups and downs, and some rules just can't be broken. In Gravity and the Wolverine. Oh my That's god. That's not bad. That actually. is real great. I'll never join with you, Gravity. Wake up, Logan. Sleep is the real enemy here. It is, though. That's, that's real. That's amazing. That's pretty great. <laughs> Pastas are pretty funny. We have to, we should, we should make like a trailer for that. Like a mock trailer. <laughs> mock yeah. it up. We're slowly getting skills at doing things. Yes! Yeah, you it's guys only are... taken us six years. And now look at you. Oh god, just look at us. Pretty sexy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, shall we wrap up this one? Uh, yeah, Do let me just see if there's new anything new else we need to talk about. Because I got distracted because Marcus isn't here to keep us on, on track. Mm. So I blame him. Checks um, out. Oh, Villeneuve's Dune is confirmed to be getting at least one sequel. Yeah. Or at least to have at least to have at least one sequel planned. Yeah, but it's gonna be director video and it's gonna be directed by the guy that directed um what are those movies where the soldiers fight the big uh, bugs? Starship, Starship Troopers. Troopers. Starship Troopers three. Are you director. serious? No. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say like I'm both simultaneously horrified and super keen. <laughs> oh, one last thing we do need to mention: the um, dementia, hey. Hey, the Blue Oyster Cult, uh, the cover of the Blue Oyster oh, Cult yeah, poster yeah. by yes. Bear McCrary or Beer McCrary. Beer McCrary. Bear. It's Bear. He's a bear. He's a bear. It's a bear that's also a crab. man and Bears also a Bears make video game music. Everyone knows this. <laughs> so him with Serge Tankian doing... Tankian. Tankian. Tan I don't know. Serge Armenian. Yeah, we go. Armenian Serge. Uh, An Armenian Serge protector. That's actually... It's not under warranty anymore. <laughs> Your say, PC's fried. It sounds like a cool superhero, actually. It does. Anyway. I'm just wondering when that's going to play in the film. Oh, Credit, wait, just credits. credits, yeah. Credits. credits. Yep. I hope. Because that would be I hope. weird I hope. for anywhere else, actually. Yeah. But it's a great song. Yep. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Okay. I think Dig it like a, a hole. What? No. No. Sorry. No. We're fucking done here, Dion. Okay. Crabbies! Sam Pellegrino! <laughs>